since late 2022, FlatHub has been in the process of rolling out app verification, but we didn't start seeing it on the FlatHub website, at least on the beta website, until early 2023. Nowadays though, there is a lot of verified applications, getting very close to a thousand apps. Now just so we're clear, app verification has no bearing on whether an application is good. It can be confusing, terribly designed garbage, and it can still be verified. App verification simply means the flat pack has been developed by the upstream project or by an external party that is endorsed by the project. For example, with the case of OBS. The OBS case, they had someone external to the project, they brought them in the project, and now it's an official flat pack. This verification can be done through a couple of different means. Firstly, we have website verification, where a small token is embedded into the website, and if FlatHub sees that token is there, that application can be verified. The other method is source verification, where you link the GitHub or GitLab of the project to the FlatHub listing, and then that indicates that the developer is the one who made the flat pack. Now, Obviously, there needs to be human review in this process because someone could just link a random unaffiliated website and there is human review to make sure this doesn't happen. And to the best of my knowledge, nothing that shouldn't be verified has been verified. Now, there are a small handful of very special exception cases. For example, the Firefox flat pack. This one is marked as verified but did not use source or website verification. This was marked as manually verified by the Flatpak moderators. I don't know the specifics behind why that was done and why they didn't use one of the proper verification channels, but in 99% of cases, this is not gonna matter to you in the first place. And unlike a certain website out there, you don't pay for verification. Once your app has been verified, it'll be given this little verification badge here, indicating that now this has been verified. Also, if you hover over the badge, it'll give you more information about how the verification was done. For example, the Firefox case here says it was manually verified, but on the OBS case, it says it was verified using the OBS project website. Also, this is not often discussed, but you as a user can limit Flatpak to only download verified applications. Run this command right here, and you'll basically be good to go. Now, that's what it is, but as for my thoughts, I think the verification badge is a giant improvement to the FlatHub UI. I am generally a fan of upstream packaging. Yes, there are cases where really bad actors ruin it, but in the majority of cases, you get a result that is as good or better than what you are getting from downstream packaging, with the benefit of the developer of the application knowing the exact environment the application is being run in. So if you want to submit a bug report, it's not a matter of, oh, well, I'm on Arch and I'm on this version. Well, I'm on Ubuntu. I'm on a version that's 10 versions behind. No, if you have the Flatpak installed, you are running the version in the Flatpak. There are, of course, projects that just don't want to package themselves or projects that have no idea how to do the packaging. But if a project wants to package the application, I think doing it this way is a giant improvement over just randomly saying that they're all flat packs, we don't know who actually made them. On the flip side of this, FlatHub is trying another idea. You may have seen the verified badge on apps from FlatHub, which shows that the developer has proven ownership of their app, e.g. via their website or code host. With great adoption, nearly 1,000 verified apps, we're trying something out to help with transparency unverified. If you see this, it flags the app has not been verified by its developer. It's effectively a community maintained package. So the example they have here is Critter, which is a ver I why can't I zoom on this? I hate this UI. Critter, which is a verified application as opposed to Audacity, which is a unverified application. This provides a bit of clarity around the source of apps while helping increase trust for the growing number of verified apps. While we don't require apps be verified or submitted by upstream developers, we highly encourage it. Let us know what you think. As a reminder, we've always human reviewed every app submission on FlatHub before it reaches users, unlike a certain other store for another packaging system. Snap. If you're going to say, let us know what you think, well, 
here I am. Let's hope that this Flat Hub video doesn't get me in as much trouble as the last one did because <laughs> I don't want to respond to DMs all day because that was a waste of time. Anyway, once again, here is the Audacity listing. We have this orange unverified badge and also this warning symbol. I completely understand the intention of what is being done here. However, I don't really think it makes any sense to have an unverified badge. It's not providing any new information. It feels kind of redundant to me. Yes, it is making it explicitly clear that if an app is not marked as verified, like pot right here, then that application is unverified. However, I feel like that's already implicitly very clear by the lack of a verified badge. If the app does not have a verified badge, then logically that would mean the app is not verified. I don't think it's harmful per se, I just think it's kind of pointless. I guess maybe you could make the argument that if you go to Flathub and you only ever see the listing for an unverified application, like Audacity or I don't know what else is here, like Facio or Greenery or Open Chakra Tony or anything else here, if you only see those listings, you wouldn't be aware that there is a verification system available. Now that there is an unverified badge, you're at least aware in some sense that there is a system of verification in place here and these apps aren't verified. But the chances of you never going to the Flathub homepage and never seeing the verified badges on other applications is very, very low. There are some ways you could argue that maybe this is a negative change. For example, this is awesome. Although, unverified may scare people away from otherwise normal apps just being packaged unofficially. Or a similar sentiment from another user. While I can't speak from user group as a whole, as an Audacity team member, I think the combo of red, or actually orange, warning sign and verified has an air that's too dangerous about it. It looks like I'd be about to install something that has 25% chance of being malware. That's not something I'd want to see near my app as a developer who's frankly glad that someone else is going through the trouble of packaging the thing. And you probably don't want to set the idea of Flathub host unsafe versions, which you need to be careful when installing, into the heads of users either. I think the message saying community flat pack or community provided or something to that idea would be better. I don't think red, it's actually orange, is the correct colour either. If you insist on it being a warning, yellow would be more appropriate, but I think of it more as an informative thing and as such would recommend blue, a light grey, or even no colour, maybe with an outline so it still looks like a tag. I think Flathub has a problem with how to communicate important information without making things sound really dangerous. Let's take a look at something like Firefox. If we scroll down, this is a verified application, but there's this thing right here, potentially unsafe. Now, it does explain what the Flatpak needs access to, but if you're an uninformed user that doesn't really understand how Flatpaks work, pretty much everything on Flathub is going to look like it's possibly malware. And yes, if we're being pedantic, everything on Flathub could possibly be malware. Any bit of software out there could possibly be malware. But I think it's important how you frame this information to make it so users aren't really confused about what's happening, especially when they are the less technically informed. Because I, as someone who understands how a flat pack works and what flat packs are, I can read this and say, okay, these are the permissions that the Flatpak has. But I can go and check these permissions in any number of other ways. I am not the target for a write-up like this on the Flathub website. It's the less technical users that don't know how to do that, that need this information to be clear and have the correct tone. Again, I don't think this is a bad badge or is harmful, but maybe the tone isn't what you want to be giving off. Also, I just don't think it's necessary. Social media has conditioned users to understand what a verified badge means. Obviously, minus Twitter with the way they've broken that. But outside of Twitter and on the bigger social media platforms, verified still has a very clear meaning. If a user is verified, they are who they say they are. In those cases, they're often an important figure that needs to have some sort of badge there to indicate who they actually are. And 
when you see a user that doesn't have a verified badge, it is clear that user is an unverified account because they're unverified because they're not verified. Like, the implication is very clear. And there's no need to say an account is unverified because we know it's unverified because if it was verified, it would have a verified badge. And because they don't have a verified badge, therefore, they're not verified. But what do you think? Do you think this is a good change? Do you think it provides new information that otherwise wouldn't be there? I would love to know. Personally, I think if they did want to keep this around, maybe have it so when you hover over the unverified badge, it says, hey, this is what it means for verification. This is how to do verification, so on and so forth. Use it as a means to give the user information about what verification is. But let me know your thoughts. Anyway, if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scrubs, Libero Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And is your app verified?